Good evening, I'm Laura Cole, and I'll be speaking about the Masters Investment Learning Center. When Mike Masters and his wife Suzanne decided to make a significant contribution to the University of Tennessee's Campaign for Tennessee, and specifically to UT's College of Business Administration, they had a definite objective, molding the minds of the next generation of financiers. Named in recognition of the Masters family's generous gift, the Masters Investment Learning Center, Masters ILC, is a high technology learning hub located off the atrium in the James A. Haslam Business Building. Funded entirely through the generosity of private donations, this high profile center provides experiential learning, research opportunities, and enrichment activities that are transforming the academic experience and marketability of UT students. The cornerstone of the center is its cache of 12 Bloomberg terminals accessible to students and faculty university-wide. Bloomberg is the gold standard for the dissemination and allocation of financial data in the market. Bloomberg terminals enable users to access historical and real-time financial market data on more than five million securities in five different market sectors. The service also streams news, price quotes, and analytics. Although more than 250,000 Bloomberg terminals are in use by investment professionals worldwide, few colleges and universities offer access to the technology to the extent that the University of Tennessee does. Typically, if a university offers access to a Bloomberg terminal, it is housed in an obscure corner of the library. We are incredibly unique in the number and accessibility of our Bloomberg terminals. Currently, UT is the only SEC school that requires Bloomberg training for our accounting and finance majors. Knowing how to use Bloomberg helps students be more productive and more marketable when they graduate. Experience using the Bloomberg terminal can be a key differentiator in a difficult job market. Bloomberg is a one-stop shop for information ranging from macroeconomic trends, economic data, news, corporate analyses and reports, SEC filings, and all documents released by companies and more. And all the information is provided in standard formats. It would take you hours to gather this information on the internet but with Bloomberg, it's easily available in real time. Due to the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. James A. Haslam and Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Laporte, teams of full-time MBA students are able to manage real-world security portfolios called the Torch Funds. Torch Fund managers meet once a week in the Masters ILC. The teams compete against one another and the S&P 500, and at the end of 12 months, make formal presentations on the results to the fund benefactors. The CME Commodities Trading Challenge, hosted by the Masters ILC, is a two-part competition open to all UT Knoxville undergraduate and graduate business students. In the first phase, teams compete against one another in an electronic format with a mock $100,000 trading allowance to buy and sell crude oil and gold futures contracts. In the second phase, individual students train in the techniques of exchange for open outcry trading in New York City. After trading, they compete in a, a simulated futures trading sessor, session and are judged by NYMEX traders on their ability to fill orders and utilize proper trading techniques. The UT TVA Investment Challenge Fund utilizes the resources in the mes Masters ILC. The fund is comprised of a team of up to 10 undergraduate business students who compete against 23 other universities located in the Tennessee Valley Authority service area. Teams manage TVA stock portfolios worth more than $10 million Participating on and off since 1998, UT has won $115,303 in awards. Its annualized 1998 to 2007 total return was 12.9% versus 3.6% for the S&P 500. The Masters ILC administers the Masters Investment Learning Center stock market game in partnership with the Knoxville News Sentinel's Newspapers and Education program. The center's graduate student staff provides training in stock analysis and portfolio management to teams of East Tennessee middle and high school students and faculty. In fall 2010, 64 teams from 19 schools participated. The MILC, Masters ILC, is also the home of UT's CFA Institute Global Investment Research Challenge Team. In this competition, each team of five business students prepares a comprehensive analysis of a publicly traded company that is evaluated by a high profile global panel of portfolio managers heads of research and chief investment officers. The UT Investment Group, UTIG, is housed in the Masters ILC. Founded in fall 2010, this student-managed organization boasts more than 100 members university-wide. 
the group hosts guest speakers, provides a forum for student discussion about investing, and conducts a battle of the traders competition with a, mark, with a mock portfolio of equities and options. Behavioral finance is the marriage of psychology and finance and attempts to explain aberrant macro phenomena, including speculative fads such as the Dutch tulip mania, junk bonds, and irrational losses in market value. That was so the next slide is gonna talk about behavioral finance and how it's the marriage of psychology and finance and how it attempts to explain aberrant macro phenomena, including speculative fads such as the Dutch tulip mania, junk bonds, and irrational losses in market value, like the October 1987 stock market crash. The Masters ILC also hosts seminars on behavioral finance. Academic studies about overconfidence are discussed that show how the majority of money managers think their ability is above average. This overconfidence leads investors to excessive trading, which likewise results in poorer performance. Further studies have shown that men are more overconfident than women, no surprise, and also that women trade more conservatively than men. Specifically, studies have shown that men trade more frequently and do worse on average than women investors. Similarly, single men have the highest risk portfolios as they perceive their own actions to be less risky. Thanks to a quirk of our psychology, we humans are very loath to walk away from sunk costs, no matter how much it is in our interest to do so. Studies show investors are predisposed to selling winners too early and riding losers too long. Investors are 50% more likely to sell winners than losers, since the pain of a loss is felt more deeply than the pleasure of a gain, what is termed loss aversion, which is prompted by the human desire to avoid regret. The performance of this year's Laporte Torch Fund managers is an example of the great success of the Masters ILC. The managers remained optimistic and were able to prosper even in this recent volatile market, having outperformed their benchmark, the S&P 500, by over 6%. Thank you for bearing with me tonight.